At the Hot List Testing Summit, the sexy part is undoubtedly all the new gear that the golf world will eat up like dessert come the new year. But the real horses pulling the sled, the ones doing all the hard work, are without question the testers. Big day, 61 clubs, get loose. Come on, let's go. All right, let's go. We don't want to rush through anything. They want focus and effort on every swing. Didn't want to get caught up in But don't come in with any preconceived ideas. And the feedback you want to give is based on what you feel, not the brand. So it's what you see, what you feel, and what you see on the launch monitors. I like just the simplicity of the badging and then the polish. It's not too, like we've got a morning sun here, it's not too glary. This isn't a vacation, it is, this isn't, you know, hey, let's go hit some balls and have some fun. It's a job. Your job is to evaluate the first one with the same intensity as the last one. To me, it's one of the, the craziest and most exciting events that I get to do all year. I mean, I would definitely play this. It's a really eye-opening experience in the fact that, I'd say, only the 16 or 20 of us in the world get to do. In a game so personal, so subjective, it's a tall task. To rake clubs and give information to assist others' buying decisions. One they don't get paid for, but put on a smile to do. I love that sign. This year, two new testers have joined the team. I am very excited to be in Mesquite, Nevada. Uh, one, because I've never been here before. And two, to test some of the, the greatest golf clubs known to man. Social media consultant, podcaster, and five handicap Drew Westfall. And musician and scratch player Griffin House. I was actually pretty surprised at how what a production it is and how many people are here. It's lacking in horsepower and I don't love the ball flight and it seems a little inconsistent. What's nice is that they're, they're, I've been met with other golf geeks here who can give me more information to help me figure out how to fill in the gaps in, in my game. I got a, a very lovely email saying we'd love to have you down and test some golf clubs with Golf Digest. Sound was amazing. It was like a, like a nice muted uh, like kind of like a clean, crisp sound when I hit it. What we're doing here can affect hundreds of thousands of people across the globe. So that that's really cool to be a part of, to be able to to kind of maybe impart that wisdom on folks that are looking at new equipment or trying to decide, you know, what is going to be the best fit for me. Um, that that's that's uh, that's kind of the dream for me. This has been my this is my favorite. Really. Of all of the clubs. Great. A day into the process, and the 2022 Hot List Summit is showing the first evidence of the wear and tear it takes on these testers. 39-year-old Anand Mudalir's right wrist is in need of some attention if he wants to continue with his testing. Yeah, I think I'm going to break for a while. Okay. You want to just tell it's different? Yeah. So there's a certain movement that I do yeah. with the club in my hand. Yes. That's when I feel the pinch. Without any club in my hand, I could do all the movements. Even with the wrist sprain, like a good soldier, he stayed in the game. Oh, that was smoked. But let's just say he might have had a beer or two to ease the pain at the hotel dinner before his nightly interview. Are you kidding me? This is crazy. This is awesome, though. I love it. You want to do it? All right. Take two, on him. Oh, this is so sexy. <laughs> <laughs> am I am I keeping the beer? You can drink, you can do whatever All right. you want. This is like religion, man. People love it. I love it. But it's awesome. It just it's it's fun. It's so much fun. Anand's not kidding. He and his fellow veteran testers are serious. Deadly serious. About their swings, their feedback, and giving the editors exactly what they want. Hang a brush from your belt, serious. Takes cool points away. <laughs> These guys ain't messing around. To me, if you're testing wedges, you want your grooves to be as crisp as possible. So 
this definitely helps me to just make sure I'm getting the right feel. It's a huge responsibility having to make sure you're giving an accurate rating because again I know the impact it has on people buying golf clubs. And most of the crew that gathers in Mesquite every November, this ain't their first rodeo. So this is my third hot list. This is my 11th. This is my second one. This is my fifth year. The group that we have that comes out here is very unbiased. If it performs, it performs, and we, we give them credit for that. So the one thing you have to do is take it very seriously. All that matters is basically what comes out of the golf club. And then you giving an honest opinion, and we take it extremely seriously. You're, you're putting a kid in a toy store for three and a half days, and at first you think, oh, wonderful, I get to play with all the toys. As you get going into it, you're like, gosh, there's a lot of toys. Getting out there and trying to beat the guy next to you and hitting it farther, that has to go away. You have to stay in your zone. Okay, what about the sound and feel? You are in your space. Your space, your information, you're gonna deliver your information, and then that way they can compute and put together a whole profile. Thanks everybody, really awesome day. I'm quitting right now. So it goes without saying, our guys Drew and Griff, they have a lot of work to do if they want to be invited back with this elite group. But it always helps to have a 15th club in your bag to fit in. So it's called the Mississippi Hippie. Somewhere in Mississippi is where my dad was born. Today is the day they actually all look forward to. Even though I think it's the physically and mentally most exhausting. Get them over Heartbreak Hill. You gotta pace yourself. It's a marathon, not a sprint. I feel like I'm hitting like a wimp, yeah. though. Today was the epitome of learning how to be a good golfer if you can practice those wedges for four hours. 